<laughs> Guys, it's Oogs. Look who is laughing. Look who is smiling right now. It's me, your boy, Oogs. Because I am very happy right now. Because Frank Lampard won the race for the management at Everton. Wow. <laughs> Guys, listen. I don't apologize for liking somebody or for appreciating somebody. If you are looking for my excuses, apologies just because I like somebody, it doesn't exist in my world. I don't hate people. There is no evil in me. No matter if I like you or not, I'm going to keep some level of respect. But unfortunately in this business, people just want to hear what they want to hear. They want you just to follow the narrative and the popular opinion. If they hate somebody, you have to hate that person. If you don't hate that person, you say something good about that person, you are in trouble. People insult you. People unsubscribe. People whatever. I don't care. I'm having fun here. You know? So, hey, leave me alone, man. I am in a democracy. I can do whatever I want as long as I don't hurt anybody. Okay? So, you don't want to watch this video? It's uh, it's your your problem. Don't leave a nasty, stupid comment like, oh, why are you? No. I, I don't want to see that. Okay? You do that, I block you immediately. Just leave. You don't have to watch it. I'm happy about Frank Lampard, okay? Because I appreciate the man as a player and also as a manager. Because of him, we have what we have today because of Frank Lampard. You like it or not, it didn't come from heaven. The Champions League, the Manson Mount, uh, the, the, the Rhys James, the Tammy Abram, it's all started by Frank Lampard. Today, we started appreciating the, the Academy product, Broja, you, Tino Angeron, you, whatever, because of this man, Frank Lampard. So, you like it or not, Lampard did a great job at Chelsea Football Club, made some mistakes, trying to change too much too quickly got in trouble with uh, senior players in the dressing room by benching them they created a lot of you know toxic environment tried to sabotage his work that is going to happen in every dressing room so hopefully he's gonna learn from that mistake but also i don't really see i don't i don't really call it a big mistake because it's a learning curve you have to go through those kind of situations in order to to learn something and also the lack of quality today everybody agree that we don't have any quality we have to sell all of them tammy abram need to go timo verna need to go whatever hakim ziach need to go but Back in the day, it was Frank Lampard thought that Timo Werner was missing one-on-one -on -one, like 10 times in one game. You know what I mean? But today, if he misses those opportunity, it's not the manager anymore. It's the player fought, so he need to go. So the narrative will change depend on if you like somebody or you don't. So I don't really care what other people are going to say. Frank Lampard, congratulations, my brother, for getting this job. And I hope that he got some insurance here. You know, from the owners, I didn't want to see him, like, you know, getting sacked from another billionaire demanding too much because that club, Everton, is pretty much finished, you know? A big project for years, Roberto Martinez, okay? You go to Big Sam, you go to all kind of manager including one of the best in the world Ancelotti couldn't do it Benitez could do it so don't put too much expectations on Frank Lampard to come all of a sudden and solve everything you know Benitez pretty much killed that team sold one of the best left back in the entire world Lucas Dean sold one of the best players in the world in James Rodriguez. So Lampard need to find players that can play in those positions and all that. He might get some players from Chelsea on loan, you know, people like Ruben or Ross Barkley or I don't know who's he's gonna get from the academy. Probably Tino Andrew is going there. So he gonna need time and he need to be given a project. He need at least couple years okay he need at least two good transfer windows 
to start showing something look at our theater okay Arteta have now like more than six transfer windows, buying his players one by one and making a team. So I'm not going to expect really too much from Frank Lampard for the first couple of seasons. But he's a winner, okay? And he's going to try to win. He's going to win a lot of games. But this season, he might not make it to Europe or whatever because <laughs> they are in the second part of, of, uh, of the table. He's going to keep them in the Premier League. And next season, um, in, in summer, he's going to get a few players. And then winter, got a few more. And then he's going to start building the team. Finally, you're, gonna, you're not going to hear me anymore complaining about Lampard at Chelsea, how he was treated and whatever. The game over. Now he's on his own in the Premier League. Hopefully with less pressure of winning trophies. And you will see what kind of good manager Frank Lampard is. It's going to be fire. Frank Lampard, Steven Gerrard, Frank Lampard against uh, Jorgen Klopp at you know in the city of liverpool so it's gonna create something you know the fire between everton and liverpool is gonna get even bigger i wanted also to pay some respect to rooney who refused to fight with frank lampard here he refused to be interviewed he said no i'm gonna stay with derby we are in a very bad situation now i'm um, the real captain i'm not gonna leave my ship like that until the end i will stay here at derby county so you have to salute the man for you know sticking on his guns and not letting derby county during this tough period so i have even more respect to rooney right now and um for pereira i mean he made a big mistake by going to Sky Sport and try to sell himself. But the man, when it comes to management, he doesn't have a good CV at all. But that doesn't really count because you can learn from your mistakes, but I don't really think that he was the man for the job. And many fans didn't want him even to begin with. My number one choice actually for Everton was a big dunk, Ferguson. I don't know what happened to him, but nobody trusts that guy but he's very passionate uh, about everton and it's gonna be very interesting to see if he's gonna accept to work under frank lampard that is another good question and let's see what's gonna happen if they work together it's gonna be a wonderful job a wonderful scenario to see when they are celebrating on the stadium after a win so good luck to frank lampard and here we go